My name is Jordan Crosby, and um, let's see, I grew up as a dancer, uh, trained as an art historian, mm -hmm. and for about 10 years I worked as an educator in museums and galleries here in Pennsylvania, in California, and in France. Mm -hmm. um, I paint a little bit these days, but really just for my own <laughs> my own work. And now I'm the director of, of the Arts and Education Initiative, mm -hmm. which is a project of the Education Policy and Leadership Center in Harrisburg. Um, we put together a group of professionals and we're building a set of policy recommendations mm -hmm. to be taken to state level government in February of 2012 about how we might enhance the quality of and increase access to arts education opportunities in the state. Okay. Yeah. Um, have you heard of the Wiscan Art Department and uh, before today? I had, yeah. <laughs> um, actually, uh, David Miller was a colleague of mine, is a colleague of mine in the Pennsylvania mm -hmm. Art Education Association. Mm -hmm. and, and then I had the opportunity, as yes. you know, to judge <laughs> uh, some of your guys' work at mm -hmm. uh, the, the Pennsylvania Department of Education. What was that just a month ago for mm -hmm. um, Youth Art Month, the yes. Sergeant Contest? And, mm -hmm. <gasps> sending you to New York! <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Um, mm -hmm. What did you expect as you came to visit us today? Did I expect? I certainly didn't expect this much amazing <laughs> artwork. I was overwhelmed by just the sheer volume of stuff mm -hmm. that you guys have produced and the quality of it. Um, uh, I think that's that's what has overwhelmed me the most. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wasn't expecting anything this spectacular for sure. Okay. Um, now, that, now that you've seen our work, what would you um, characterize as you as our approach to learning through the arts? Wow. Um, well, it seems, first of all, really sophisticated. Um, I've worked with a wide variety of schools and school districts in Pennsylvania, and I'm very impressed by um, the rigor uh, of some of the assignments that, that I see that um, your instructors have presented for you. And it's really interesting to see how they, they frame what you do, but at the same time, there's so much room for individuality. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really see so many voices developing, and it's really cool to see that in, mm -hmm. in, in high school students. Usually yeah. that doesn't happen <laughs> until later. Um, but yeah, it seems like there's a lot of technology, mm -hmm. um, a lot of rigor, a lot of uh, emphasis on process, mm -hmm. and kind of um, room to experiment and make mistakes and, and pick up and keep going. So it yes. seems like a really cool <laughs> program. Um, do you have a favorite part of the exhibit? <gasps> wow, um, I, I guess I have to say just these, these honors installations. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love the idea of giving everybody the opportunity to do an installation. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting to see how some, some of the artists uh, approached it actually as an artwork, as one mm -hmm. discrete artwork, yes. whereas others really mm -hmm. um, mixed and matched or showed the range of the work that they do. Mm -hmm. So it was really fun to just kind of walk through there and um, just immerse myself in all that great <laughs> stuff. All right, well, thank you for joining us and thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you.